First of all, what a great uh, friend you are to uh, Jessica, your teammate. Tell us a little bit about how all this got started. Um, well, it all got started when, actually when my sister was diagnosed. She was diagnosed in 2011. Um, she had stage two brain cancer. And from then on out, I just wanted to figure out a way that I could help all the, all the families that were going through the same thing that my family was going through. Um, so this came about, um, we decided to do a childhood cancer game because there have been Go Pink games in the past and I feel like childhood cancer is just more relatable to me and all of the other students in our community. Um, I went to my dad and I said, hey dad, can we do this? We know the Badger Childhood Cancer Network has mm -hmm. done many great things for us and I feel like we can help them out even more. When you look at all this, it's 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 not a happy thing to be having a friend like Jessica that gets this, but it's also been probably pretty encouraging for her, wouldn't you think, to have everybody thinking about her right now? Yes, she has been getting so much support through Facebook and Twitter, and just everybody has come together. Um, we have actually had our crosstown rivals craig high school um made a generous donation to us they wrote a generous letter and we want to thank them for coming together to help us out with this so we're finding out this is more than competition in softball this is about just being good people isn't it this game means more than winning to me this game means to bring the community together and to have so many special things happen for us it really helps us out you know, when this all came about, did you have any trouble finding help to get this going? No, absolutely not. Right away, my dad said, let's do this. We we need to do this as a team. All of my teammates and all the coaching staff were very on board with all of it. And even the athletic director said, yes, let's do this. I am totally supportive of you and what you want to do for the, fam for the community. You know, when you look at all this, I know it's something you didn't want to go through, but it has been a thing that has made you grow. It's tough enough to play a regular softball season, yeah. much less have this distraction. Yeah. Has it put things in perspective a little bit for you too? Yes, it has. Um, this is not any other game. Um, this is actually a really big game because if we win this game, we are fourth place in the conference, but it, it doesn't really matter. Softball is bigger. Like, life is bigger than softball. We have bigger and more important things to worry about than softball because in a blink of an eye and the snap of a finger, it can all be gone. You know, with, with your sister going through this and now one of your, your best friends from when you were little, what are something that you'll take away from all this after this is all done and Jessica's feeling better? Don't take life for granted. So. Don't don't take anything for granted in life. And all the all the uh, donations and money is going to. Can you explain real quick what the fund is again? Um, it's called the Badger Childhood Cancer Network. It's run out of Madison, Wisconsin, and all of the funds that are raised through anywhere, not just this game, um, they go to families like mine and Jessica's who are struggling with cancer and it helps them with gas money it helps them with other financial struggles that they might be going through hotel rooms to stay for treatment on the ronald mcdonald house um so that's just basically what the badger childhood cancer network is hey thanks for all you're doing for jessica and good luck tonight thank you very much Let's talk about this game today. It's a pretty special game. I know it's against one of your rivals, Beloit Memorial, but there's also a lot of stuff going on. Tell us about why you guys have put this together and plan to help out some of your friends today. Well, more recently, my best friend, Jessica Thompson, has been diagnosed with a form of brain cancer. Um, previously, Brenna's older sister, Haley, had also been diagnosed with brain cancer. And last year, we were unable to do a cancer game through softball. So we thought, especially with our very, very close friend who used to play softball, um, being diagnosed, that we should definitely do one this year. And the BCCN really helped the Deals family make it through financially, supportively, and just health-wise too. And they decided that was the best network to go through. You know, uh, how tough has this been on all you guys, especially with it being your best friend, you know, going through this, but now you're able to help out a little bit. It's been quite tough. I've been able to visit her a few times, but not as much as I'd like. So have you, have you learned that uh, there's more to softball and more to go into high school than 
And that this is probably putting a lot of things in perspective for you today. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Hey, good luck today. Thank you. Okay. Let's talk real quickly today about this game. What does this game mean to you? It's a little bit different atmosphere than what you have in a normal game. Um, it's big. It's for a good cause, and I'm just happy to be able to play in it. It's a, it's for a good cause, and I support what Brennan's doing. When you when you look at this, it's it's tough to have a teammate and a friend going through all this. What's something that you've learned from all this? Um, don't take things for granted. It's it's hard to go through. Many people have lost family members and. It's quite sad, and it's just, it's, a, I don't really know. You know, it puts a different perspective on how you see athletics and sports, but it's also nice to know that a team like Beloit Memorial is going to come over and be a part of this and help support you, and I know Craig has helped you as well. What does that mean to you guys? Um, just to get the word out, it's, it's big. It's nice to see that other people are seeing what's going on in other people's families. Well, thanks a lot for all you guys are doing, and good luck today. Thank you.